Hello, welcome to this channel Kane Java Knowledge. And today in this video, we are going to learn how to validate request body in our Spring Boot application. And we will discuss on the basics of bean validation using Jakarta dot validation annotation. And the request body validation involves ensuring that the data sent in the request body confirm the expected uh, structure. To validate our request body, here we will use at the rate valid annotation and at the rate request body annotation. So okay, let me start to create one application, then we will add these annotations and we'll see how it works. So let me go to browser and here I will just open start.spring.io and here we need to select the project type. Here I have selected Maven and language Java and Spring Boot version 3.3.5 and let me go down and here I will add artifact ID validation demo and here I have selected packaging is jar and Java version is 17 so let me add two dependency one will be the spring web because we need to create rest endpoint in which we can pass request body so let me add here spring web and another Maven dependency that we need to add spring boot starter validation so let me add here search here for validation and let me add here so here we can see we have added two maven dependencies so let me generate so here we can see i have imported uh, spring boot application in intellij and this is our main class and here i have created one uh, controller class inside controller package that is user controller class and inside user controller class i have created uh, one api that we will use to create a user so here we can see at the rate post mapping and the path of this api is slash user and here we are passing at the rate valid annotation that will validate the pin of our uh, model class or we can say dto class so if we will go and open this user class so here we need to add some um, annotations that will validate our properties. So if we want to add some conditions on our property that is name. So like if we have requirement like username must be at least three characters. So here we will use at the rate size annotation that will be from Jakarta validation constant package. So here let me add minimum length um, should be 3 must be 3 and max must be 100 and another property that we can use message what message we want to return user name must be between 3 to 100 characters like this we can return message <coughs> there are some other annotations like we can use at the rate empty not empty annotations and here we can pass message enter a valid name valid name so this message we will get at client side that we are adding here using spring jakarta validations so let me go here in our user controller class and start our application so if i will go to my service layer so here we can see inside service i have just added two or three lines of code just returning the same request body as i am getting from request and returning in the response also same user without doing any modification or without validating the request body here so here we can see our application has started so here we can see inside our user we have three parameter one is id name and age name is mandatory so let me go to postman and here i am just passing empty name and we'll call this api send so here we can see we are getting bad request 
and in response we are getting timestamp where request user if i will go to console and we'll check the error so here we can see the default message username must be between 3 to 100 characters but on client side we are not getting this message because we have not added any global exception handler to handle this exception or error message so if you want to get a proper error message here we just need to add global exception handler in our project application so let me create one more class and we'll add global exception handler class to handle all the exception then we will get proper message on client side so let me create a package that is exception so here we can see it's throwing method argument exception so let me check here which exception it's throwing uh, it's throwing method argument not valid exception so we need to handle this exception so inside our exception package we need to create one class so let me create new java class application exception handler and here we just need to define annotation that is at the rate rest controller advice so it will act as global exception handler class so let me add one method inside this class so let me add one method here so here i have method so first i will return from null here from this method and we need to import method argument node valid exception that we are getting so we need to handle and let me add class for this also so here i have created one method and on this method i will use annotation at the rate response status so once when i will get 400 bad request this method will start to execute so here we need to pass http status bad request and another annotation that we can use at the rate exception handler and inside this as a parameter we need to pass method argument not valid exception dot class so this method will start execute once we will get this exception in our application by any methods so let me create one empty map object that we will return that we want to return as a response so here i will just add empty map object and let me import hash map and these errors we want to return and here i will just uh, iterate our exception and we'll get the error message by iterating this exception so here i am just exception dot get binding result from binding result i am getting field errors and then iterating this field list of field errors and then setting into our errors and it will return as a map object so here i have added this exception handler class so let me go back and restart our application stop and rerun so we can see here in our user i have added validations only on only on single field that is name so if i will pass empty value then i will get this message if i will enter minimum value of character less than 3 and a maximum 100 then i will get this error message so our application has started so let me call <coughs> and here i am just passing empty name so in this case we will get enter a valid name so let me go back to application and here we can see enter a valid name for empty string and if i am passing here two characters which are less than three then i will get another message username must be between three to hundred characters if i will pass three or more than three then we will not get any error message so here we are getting success response 200 ok so here i have used just validation only for single field and we can also use annotation for other fields like for age if age is minimum 18 and should be maximum uh, 150 like this we can add validation message 
so let me add one more annotation here validate numbers we can use annotation like minimum and maximum so it should contain minimum 18 or maximum 150 if it is out of range then it will throw error message so let me restart application and we'll check if it is working fine or not for int age field we have added the validation its minimum value should be 18 and maximum 150 so let me go to postman and here i will pass value less than 18 so here i am just passing 17 so here we will get error message age should not be less than 18 if i will pass valid age like greater than 18 or equal to 18 then we will not get this error message and if i will pass value more than 150 then i will get error message age should not be greater than 150 so like this we can add validations on our fields that we are using in our request body there are some more annotations like we can use at the rate nautical annotation at the rate assert true at the rate size that we have used and at the rate minimum we have also used at the rate maximum we have also used and we can also use at the rate email annotation to validate our email address for field if we are passing email id or email address in request body there are some more annotations like at the rate not empty that we have used and we can also use at the rate non blank at the rate positive and at the rate positive or zero to validate our field that we are passing in request body so like this we can use multiple annotations and can validate our request body so this was all about how to validate request body in spring boot application okay thanks for watching